value Christ over your life. <clears throat> I know I might not speak how it normally is because my my spirit is pretty much in sorrow. My spirit is in sorrow because it's so much, it's so many lies, it's so much corruption in the world. And because it's so much corruption in the world, there's so many lies in the world. It's hard for us to believe in a God in which we can't see, man. It's hard for us to believe in a God in which we can't see. It's hard for us to understand the love that he has for us when we going through trouble and affliction in this world. And we like, God, if you love us, why am I going through this? And it's because we are a part of the world and God wants you to see that the world does not love you. He wants the very thing that's trying to break you, that Satan is trying to use to break you. He's trying, he's going to use that when you can see him on the other side of like, man, God just wants me to come to him and be in his presence and be in, you know, in his atmosphere, soaking up the things that will actually teach me about what's going on in this life. That's what God wants for us to do. Understand who he is and understand who the world is. The world speaks to your flesh, but God speaks to your spirit. And God is not the father of the dead, which is this flesh. We are walking through the valley of the shadow of death. When you see a reflection of your shadow, that's a reflection of death, of something that is soon to die. And again, though, I kind of want to talk about what's in the title, but I also want to, at the end of this, give y'all a short, you know, a, a short um, testimony about when God allowed for my spirit to feel the, 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 the worst torment that I could ever even imagine while I was in prayer. But yeah, I just wanted to start it off kind of with that, man. The thing that Satan is trying to use to break you, God will use to make you a vessel for one to go out and be a fisherman for his kingdom, man. Please, please, please hit the like button. We need for people to actually, you know, um, start to help those who just trying to use. Look, because nothing that I did makes me great. It was the power in God. All the things that I'm about to talk about right now, all of the uh, uh, the, the, the the story, all of the, the glory that's in this story shouldn't go to me, but to whom created me, to whom opened up these doors so that I could just walk in. But yeah, stay for the last part because it's a powerful testimony that I hope can do something for y'all. But shorties out there, young men out there, women, not only just the young men, but the older men. We got to buy in. We got to start to give our ears and our eyes to things that are like this because faith comes by hearing and faith comes by seeing. So nevertheless, man, let me just get right into it. I know many of y'all think that I ran from O Block after I started a YouTube live, after I started to get down on my homies. Many people thought, and really I'm not getting down on them, but I'm getting down on the darkness. I'm getting down on the works of the flesh. I'm shouting loud like a ram's horn, and I'm trying to show my people their transgression, their transgressions against God. But again, I know many people was like, man, because you see it in the comments. I didn't run from O Block. I didn't run when when uh, 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 when I started to try to monetize off of what y'all thought that I was doing, trying to monetize off of putting them down. But I'm putting down wickedness. I was never putting them down, but I was putting down the wicked lives that we lived to show y'all that you don't need to be trying to live like an old block. You shouldn't idolize or look up to anybody that the world is pushing. And telling you that, man, you know, the world just pushed certain images of people with the hopes that people that look like them might follow after. But they, the world, again, is all pushing wickedness. The prince of this world is a wicked prince. He's a god of evil. He's the father of lies. And we got to understand that the two natures we are fleshly. This is a worldly us. This flesh is for the world. And then we have a spirit that is from God. But I didn't run from old block when things got tough, man. God gave me a transformation in my life. When I was going through the worst times of my life, I had no family. I had no, like many people, y'all don't really even know about me, but I hope y'all just listen in. Like I had no family. You know, my sisters, them, they really couldn't take care of me. Um, my mom sprung out on drugs. Dad died when I was seven months and my mom never got to meet him. 
You know, I, I seen a lot of things. I seen one of my grandmothers actually get her life taken by her husband. And then I moved away from that environment and moved with my other grandma. And months after that, she passed away. The lady that I'm talking about, with y'all, I've experienced a great deal of trauma to the flesh from watching those that I loved pass away. And they could have beat me down. I had absolute, absolutely nothing. You know, like my friends, they had their moms. If they ain't had a mom, some of them had their dad. Some of them probably had a father figure. I had absolutely none of those things. But all those things that I lacked, it was so that God can be a direct line to me. And I didn't know it. What you lack right now is not because God don't love you, but he wants to give to you directly. And we got to know that God does not give the way that we give in the flesh. God gives you spiritual understanding. God get, he gives you, he gives you the, the, what you need to get through, y'all. He gave me what I needed to get through. He changed my life when I came to him in prayer. Out there trying to rob, steal, kill. I had absolutely no hope. And with people with no hope, they go and they try to take hope. They try to take things from other people and think that it will give them a moment of peace. But this is the enemy. This is the enemy, man. The things that we do on O Block, the things that we were out there um, running to and fro was all wicked. All wicked, all wicked schemes and snares from the devil. Like, I just hope y'all can see that and understanding that, man, you don't got to be like, oh, block. God sees your, for your affliction. He sees your poverty. What you going through and what you lack in this world, he sees. But if y'all could join, on the, join us in the body of Christ, because that's who God loved us so much that he manifested himself down into the flesh. I'm trying to tell you, bro. You're going to have to get your revelation. So I don't really want to go too deep into that, but I'm telling you, Jesus is God. And because I tell you a truth that was revealed to me, it shouldn't make you mock or question, but the flesh is going to got all these, you know, so like if with the word of God, God said that our weapon that is powerful, it's powerful for casting down, you know, bringing down strongholds. And casting down, uh, casting down arguments. The flesh gonna argue against what I just said, but if you got the word of God in you, it casts that argument right down because there's nothing to argue with because the word of the God, word of the word of God is Him that spoke you to existence, that spoke this world to existence. That is the reason why I'm able to speak over some technology that I don't even know how I was created. That's how I'm in a world where I don't even know how it was created. I don't even know how I got here. All I know that I was growing up just like y'all. It's the power and the glory of God that is spiritual, that we can never understand all of what God is, but we can't have the mind of Christ. But I just want y'all to understand, man, I didn't run. God gave me a new opportunity at life. He gave me a new life and then we used football to do it. I didn't know. I thought that when I gave me football, I'm like, man, this is the way that I'm going to be able to feed my people. This is the way I'm going to be able to uh, uh, live in peace. I thought that that's no, but the peace is where I am at now. And I know some people, like, well, you know, they see my name came from nothing. And they're like, you still got nothing. It's because they looking at the flesh. They focusing on the fleshly things. Again, God don't give the way the world gives. These fleshly world things of what you see, many people get those things and it takes them away from God. Many people get those things and they start to uh, uh, glory in those things and not glory in the creator who those things only are established through him. This is what this world is, man. This is a world of, 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 of can you endure with my faith going along and being fishermen and men with the faith that is accepted. The faith that it takes to actually be accepted into God's kingdom. It's a life of endurance, man. But many people who live for themselves now, this is your reward. This is your reward, man. But I hope that y'all don't put y'all eggs and and, and, and and on this basket where your reward is temporary and your affliction will be way much greater.
after this because God is not a God that he should be lied, that he can lie or that he shall be mocked. Facts, man. But you see, I'm I'm have the thing going on. They just pretty I'm just show y'all a couple of my like, man, it ain't the glory in me that y'all should be like, oh man, you did that. You I didn't do nothing, bro. I was in a hood doing these things, and when I, I did get on my knees, I did repent and tell God, man, I know I'm living wicked. I know, but if you would just give me some hope, if you would just give me a chance, then I can live for you. If you would just give me an opportunity at a new life that I will shout to everyone whom I can, Heavenly Father, to show them what the love and what the power of God will do. And it led me all the way back up to this point. I did not know again when I got my when I got hurt and I couldn't play football no more. I'm like, God, why would you get that to me to take it away? And it was because that thing was taking me away from God. When I got D1 scholarships and now I'm able to do this. And when I went off to a D1 scholarship and I'm no longer here on O Block, I for I didn't forget, but I was delaying my prayer life. I went back into the world, man. And so sometimes God will allow for things to happen in your life for you to get something or receive something to see if will you stay coming to me, loving me in my atmosphere, will our relationship be the same if I give you what you ask? And it wasn't. And so you, many of us are asking for a world that only leads to death. See, I'm happy that he allowed me to go through those things because I see him more vividly. I see that it ain't no peace in this world. And even if it is peace in this world for you, it's to distract you from true peace. It's not real peace. We got to remember that the enemy can can um can transform itself to a shimmering of light. And so as well as him. And, and that's like his little minions that they come out here. They look to part. They speak. Like they are from God. But Satan can transform itself to a shimmering of light. So they replicating their lives after him. But I just want I just want this video to know that, man, you can overcome what you lack. You can overcome the very thing that Satan is using to tell you that you mean nothing. When we lack and when we don't have things, we think that God don't have no favor on our life. But that's more favor that he has on your life because you lack worldly things so which means you just got to get to know god so that you can be fulfilled you got to get to know god you got to get in the stories you got to read and see what he do for those who are least in the world he's trying to make you first he's trying to raise you to a position to be first in his kingdom he said last shall be first and first shall be last are y'all willing to be first where it matters, but last, where it doesn't. I'm willing. I hope y'all are, man. I hope that this is just something that'll get you to understand that you don't got to run with Oblock. You don't have to be a game member. You don't have to be a rapper. You don't have to become a part of Satan's kingdom for true peace because it leads to destruction. It leads to damnation. It's a false sense of security that if you are not careful, if you don't have the eyes to see, you're glorifying the very thing that is coming to kill you, coming to kill and steal true riches, which is in God. All right. So now my short testimony, man, my short testimony about me praying. I was in deep in prayer, bro, one day and I'm telling God, I'm just feeling so good, but I'm crying as well because because but I'm crying because I, I, I see the affliction. I see our people. Being lost and being drunken off the things of this world, being drunken off the lies that that is being pushed in these agendas. And we don't understand it because we used to seeing wickedness. We are in the vessel that is full of wicked desires. But I'm crying out. Right. And I say I, I, I tell God this in my prayer. I'm like, I would never want to see how it would feel to. I would never want to uh, 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 know how it feels to not be in your presence. I would never want to know. That's what I said to, to, to not. And then he allowed for me, man. It was so powerful. The torment that I was feeling. And I mean, like it happened instantly. Once I said those words, like he was waiting on me to say those words so he could show me what it would feel like 
not to have him in my presence, not to be able to call upon him, not to be able to ask for, for forgiveness. It was a dark cloud, y'all, and giving me chills right now. Every time I get to say in this story, thinking about the story, it gives me chills down to the core. It goes all the way to my heart. Because it was a dark cloud and we think that God needs to, we think that, so we, we get caught up in the flesh and we just get caught up in feeling fleshly pain and that's what hell going to be like because he said fire. So that, that get to the flesh, that's like, you think of heat, but man, it wasn't no heat where I was. And I'm telling you, this place was so tormenting that I could not, God would not allow for me to stay in these this visions, whatever it was that I was in, because I was alive, so I it gotta be I was woke, so it had to be like a vision. He wouldn't allow for me to stay in it more than a couple of seconds at a time because the torment was so great. The torment was so great that I know that if I take my own life, I'm going to hell. But it was so great that I had to tell God, if you allow for me when I'm done praying to you and I still feel like this, I got to take my life. The tour, But you know one thing about hell? You will not be able to take your life. And I know I get it, man. See, look, God, he goes and speaks to those who come calling him with their whole heart. And so, wow, y'all know that this is a testimony that helps me overcome, right? You know that in Revelation, this is the last book of the Bible. It says what gets the people to triumph and to, and to uh, conquer this thing called life. And what were the two things? The blood of the lamb, which is Jesus Christ, him crucified. And he said the power of your testimony. They overcame by the blood of the lamb and by the power of their testimony. See, what he did to me on my knees was a testimony that might not move you, but me. When I get to my lowest of my lows and I want to run to the world and be in transgression against God and not think about that, uh, I, I start to repent and turn about face. I do that one eight. I'm telling y'all, man, the torment that was in this dark cloud, it was so great, man. I could, it was like I was screaming, but I couldn't hear the words. I felt it. No one can hear me. I wasn't being stabbed, shot, no physical pain, but I'm telling you that no pain was worse than this psychological vision and these feelings that I was getting. I'm talking about it was damning to my soul to a point where I could not take it. And when I got out of it, I'm just like, man, is this what hell going to be like? And I believe so because the torment is a it's a torture far more greater than what you can feel in this flesh it's a torment that is spiritual and he do not need to get to you how the world gets to you for you to feel a torment that is all those in one and man it's not nothing that we should play with i don't get out here and make these videos and go as hard as i do because i like likes and view i don't ask y'all for y'all likes and, and comments for me I don't even care about my life to the point that y'all might think that I do. Man, I'm living for God. I get joy in bringing people to his kingdom. This is what I get joy in because there's no joy for Jamal in the world. I would have been gone years ago. This was I telling God. I was telling, man, God, if you can't give me something to live for, I'm out. Because the things that I was doing, I could not see myself doing those things until I died. 16 and 17, that age was enough for me to turn to God and turn away from the world because I saw the end. And I saw my end was death. And I'm like, if I'm going to die doing it, I might as well go right now. And then that'll take away from all the hurt and the pain that I'm actually bringing on people that might will live for God or that might will find some pleasure in the world. So I'm like, man, I'll just do away with myself before I go and try to ruin somebody else's life because... I'm unhappy with the life that I have. But I'm telling you, the things that I lack, the things that I went without was so that God can show me what true riches was, what true peace is, what true happiness is. God does not give gifts like the world, man. And hell, you can't commit suicide in hell. 
God ain't going to be hearing your prayer. Maybe if maybe he can, but he ain't answering. Because God is powerful. I ain't saying that he can't do nothing. Because he can do all. But I'm telling you, it is not a place that you just want to have up for grabs. Or you want to. You know, some people be like, man, well, I guess I'm going to. You don't want to play like that, bro. I'm telling you, you do not want to play like that. Man, value Christ over your life. Hopefully, y'all made it this far in the video. If the video did something for you, man, please give a like, leave a like, leave a comment, share the video. Y'all share everybody else coming from O Block that's negative, that's speaking direct death and curses upon y'all. But will we actually share somebody that come from the same way? And you, like in me, you don't see the glory in me. You see the glory in God that there's hundreds of them. They living in wickedness. And he brought me out just one to show y'all how hard it'll be to enter in his kingdom. And it's not me. Glory. I'm not glorying in me. I'm not glorying in me. I'm not saying I'm somebody. I'm saying that God is somebody and his word will not go back in vain. Whatever is in that book is already happened or going to happen. Do not let somebody with a lack of faith. Get you to turn to the only faith that got true power in all these religions. Go do what you need to do, man. You know, I through fear and trembling, I worked out my salvation, and I know that Jesus Christ died for my sins. That's me. God said my sheep know my voice, so I guess I'm a sheep because I heard his voice, and I followed it, and I'm going to follow it no matter what it costs me because it's going to cost me this life. Value Christ over your life.